<laughs> so yeah, today, okay. everybody, we're checking out Pizza Nerds. And you can see their website doesn't have much on it because they just started up in 2020. But uh, the pizzas that we have here today are pretty nice. We have here. Wow, look at this. And also we have Oso here. All the way from Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have four different pizzas over here. And uh, I guess we can just, uh, I'm going to show you the, sh the close up of each one of them. <clears throat> there you go. Come on, work. There you go. There's the first one is called, what is this one again? That's the uh, no Gladstone. The that's Gladstone. the Gladstone, which is the arugula. No, that's bacon, Calabres. right? It's not bacon. No, it's Cal Calabres. Calabres. Cap Capri, whatever Capri. that stuff is called. Calabres. That's Calabres. it. Calabres. It's a spicy sausage. Yeah, a lot. And, and all of these, uh, the names are street names, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So this is the bank. This is the white pizza with oh. the. Uh, Portobello mushrooms, mm -hmm. parsley, and I think there's one more thing. I, oh, it's uh, the aioli. Hey, Strill. The, the truffle aioli and the parmigiano. Mm. <laughs> then I have the Arlington, right? It was, yeah. it was Arlington. And this is the, the Halifax Donaire version. <laughs> Suiting because we have somebody from Nova Scotia here. What up? And then we got the jalapeno popper pizza. Oh, you because it's, he's popping. Yeah, yeah. It's got some jalapenos on it, some goat cheese, and I guess some marinara sauce on there. And then some panko breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah. Panko, panko breadcrumbs. Bread oh, that's what it was on top. Yeah. yeah. Was like, and that, then we have these, this looking. extra sauce, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the, the chili, chili garlic. garlic. Ah. Uh, and then that's pretty much what we got. Here. What's up, Strell? Hey. <laughs> Here we go. You can't see it? From here, I can't really. I'll, I'll look at it from my Okay. Uh, it's hard for me to see from here. Okay. Yeah. So, so you want to tr we'll start off from there and then all the way okay. down here? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, are we passing it like one by one? Hey. Dude, what are we no, no, no. Just, no, I'm just taking part. Here, grab. <laughs> <laughs> and then break it. Hey, bird. What's the word? No, bird. Don't come bird here. Where is the word? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I was wondering what you're doing. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. cheers. Mm. It is. Hey, oh, Amanda. Oh, wow. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I really like this. Yeah. Oh, how's it going, Amanda? Mm. So Strill's been in Medellin, yeah, and he's just uh, packing to come come back to go back to uh, Texas. Oh, really? Amanda's from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Sweden. Yeah, so it's like pretty late for her right now. <laughs> oh, geez. Welcome. Have any of you guys been watching the Olympics? Yeah. What do you guys mm. think of the Olympics so far? You know what? I don't mind the arugula on this one. It's yeah. not as strong as like when we had it at Pi Square. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who cares what Brian thinks? He's just picky. <laughs> I am picky when it comes to this. <laughs> I'm thing. joking. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> I like the switch between the pepper. Like, usually you get pepperoni, but mm -hmm. you have the calabres. Yeah, this is really good. And the saltiness uh, on this, I like it. I was it. just going to say, yeah. Mm. It changes the flavor. The wow. calabres? Yeah. yeah. It's a little more spicy. I'm kind of. Yeah, the hot sauce. Yeah. sauce. Let us know if you can hear us properly because uh, for people, it's. It's kind of a big difference. This is new for us. Are we loud enough for you guys? Yeah. We can be louder. <laughs> mm, She's just right. a hater. You want some of the yeah, sauce? Yeah, let me try. Mm -hmm. Who's the sauce boss? Me. The hot sauce <laughs> boss. <laughs> I don't know if I really taste any spice in it. In the sauce? Yeah. I like no. it. The, no, at the, at the very end. No, I like that. You go. Hmm. You don't really taste it, right? Yeah, it just tastes like garlic sauce to me. Yeah. 
It's a nice garlic sauce, though. I like it because it's light. But I think, here's the thing. I think if, again, you're not, like, accustomed to spice, mm-hmm. you'll probably taste mm. a little bit of chili that is in here. Okay. Okay. But so, flavor-wise, it's really good, though. Yeah. yeah. I really like this. It's got, like, that nice savory flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Beat all you guys. Oh, um, <laughs> Amanda just wrote down. Uh, yeah, I've been following it a bit. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of the sports are fun to watch, but uh, not football and stuff. I agree. Yeah, and I find it hard to follow in terms of scheduling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just haven't been as invested. Soccer. Oh, okay, sorry. It starts you're very correct. early in the you're day. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the only part. I heard that the U.S. basketball team lost. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, I watched too. that game. Oh, how's that, Nigeria? How's that even possible? Yeah, that's like Canada losing in hockey. Ooh. Still, how is that possible? Yeah. <laughs> was it Romania? Or Croatia no, or not like, like that. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. So they're not world champions anymore. <laughs> no. Do you know how no, early? No, no, but you know what I mean. Like they call themselves world champions, and like even when they just win an NBA title. But. Mm. But they only play in America, you know. They're like world champions. <laughs> yeah, you know, know, it's true. But, it's true. Yeah, but now there's more representation of uh, different countries in the NBA. In oh yeah, of course. Hi, Pro Hugo. Hi, Pro Hugo. I was gonna say that, but I forgot. Oh, but I do remember looking up some of the basketball players on the opposing team, yeah. and mm-hmm. they're from the states. Yeah. So it's like. Oh really? Yeah. They're all, all originally from the states. Yeah, they're originally. But from then, the then states, like their background. But playing in, the, in Europe. Mm, okay. Yeah. Which Where Hugo said the world is catching yeah. up. Yeah, a lot of uh, American players play in Europe. Yeah, yeah, even some Canadian ones yeah. too. You know what I like about this? It's got this fresh, like, moisture to it, even though it's like it's not wet at the bottom. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Nice. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, I think yeah. the crisp is on. Yeah, yeah. On point. It's like it's that dough. It's like kind of like the wet yeah. dough kind of. No, the the inside is like it's still got like. There's still a nice softness to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like too dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has a nice bite. Things handmade. I'm, it's handmade. It's good. I'm really impressed with this yeah. one. Would you say it's not? No, it's not reminiscent of focaccia. It's not. No. I think focaccia. it's reminiscent. Yeah, what do you guys think of the thicker. crust? I really like the I like crust. It. I like how, like you were saying, Absolutely. I like how soft it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, like I said, nice the crust is on point. I think so it's not too much, not too little. It's right in the middle. Yeah, it, I don't think it's like doughy, mm. like how other pizza places are mm-hmm. it almost reminds me of pi squared the way that they did it yeah for the airiness of the yeah of the dough itself but not quite as airy as uh <clears throat> pi squared no 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 yeah and it doesn't it's have like the crunch process. that that yeah. uh pi squared has this like crunch to them yeah. oh yeah but pizza nerds mm-hmm. yeah, pizza's good Is this an, yeah like uh, yeah definitely did they say it's wood oven yeah um <clears throat> I didn't look into that to be honest with you. It was fairly priced, Amanda. It was like seventeen bucks for a, a box. Yeah. And that's like bigger than a, a small pizza that they mm-hmm. usually mm-hmm. have. It's kind of like a medium size comparison, yeah. mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I would say it's a medium pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't feel heavy either. Mm-hmm. And then you were told to go here because it was more healthy, right? Well, no. <laughs> Well, I don't know. It was like yeah. your trainer. No, no, yeah, my trainer was just like, "Hey, have, if you love pizza, because I, I, I generally I can't love pizza, mm-hmm. uh, it is for my show." He's like, "Go to Pizza Nerds." He was like, "What?" And mm-hmm. it's just funny because we were basically gonna do this, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He just said he said to get the steak arugula, uh, but there is no it's not there on. It's the not menu. on the menu. It's probably it's like one of their one. specials. Yeah, yeah. Let's try the mushroom pizza. Second slice. Let's do it. Second slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I kept going. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Banana, grab a slice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yo. This one, I'm actually really excited about. It yeah. looks really grab good. Slice. I think there's right there. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not usually big on like yeah, any slice. Uh, uh, there you go. There you go. What? What? Wow. So this is the bank. So this is a truffle oil, I believe, on top, Parmesan, mm-hmm. portobello mushroom, and a white sauce. So, cheers, cheers guys! Cheers! Cheers! cheers. 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 My piggy bank. <laughs> oh wait, you were gonna show the pizza? Hmm. I'll show it after. Yeah. It is good. Yeah. 
Oh, wait, I'll do it without the hot sauce. That's a white pizza, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yo. This is really good. Yeah. That mm -hmm. cheese on it is is really good. Because they have Parmesan on top, too. Mm -hmm. Is that why? Yeah. Okay, it almost tastes like there's Parmesan and I think truffle mm -hmm. oil. Mm. That's that why. Truffle oil. One. Yeah. It almost tastes like there's multiple cheeses to it. Nails big, hair big, everything big. Are you fancy? Huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> wow, marking your <laughs> territory there. So this is uh there's no meat to this, right? Mm -mm. No. Mm. So vegetarians mm. get in on this. Yeah. This one's really good, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't miss the meat off this one. No. Well you have the meatiness of the um mushrooms. Yeah. Mushrooms, yeah. 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 They kind of substitute. Mm -hmm. I think that's what most people do anyway. It's like, you know, like when you, you have your vegetarian burger, it's just a huge portobello mm -hmm. mushroom. Mm -hmm. Really? Right? And it's grilled. Grilled? Mm -hmm. I said grilled. Grilled. <laughs> <It's> grilled. <laughs> I'm just imagining a grill being like, girl. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or a girl going grill. 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 Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> This is good. Really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. As we eat pizza, friends, people, <laughs> Country, internet babe. strangers, um, <laughs> it's a little... how was your week? What have you been eating? Yeah. Aside from what you've been eating, mm -hmm. what was like a highlight of your week? Yeah. Did you guys treat yourselves to anything this week? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like some ice cream? Cookies? Ice cream cookies. <laughs> <laughs> TV shows? TV shows, yeah. I'm really impressed with the pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just watched Loki, so. Mm. You just watched what? You watched Loki for the first time. <laughs> What's that about? Um, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. He doesn't watch that yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's about a demigod from the MCU. So oh. Marvel. Oh, Loki. Yeah. Mm. Universe. <laughs> I thought you said Loki. I'm like, what's Loki? He's <laughs> Loki, Loki. Like, does it have to do with like a thief? Oh, um, kind of. He's mischievous. <laughs> um. So Amanda mentioned. Mm. I don't know. I had Pizza Hut before. Mm. That was nice. <laughs> Pizza Hut. <laughs> Pizza Hut. They actually have a very good. Um, I think it was a chicken, like a butter chicken pizza. What? Really? I've no. never heard of that. Yeah, me either. At yeah. Pizza Hut. Yeah, because um, we had it. I've had it for the first. Mm -hmm. Last time mm -hmm. I had Pizza Hut before, the last time I had it was probably like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But my friend ordered while we were watching UFC, and I was impressed by their pizza. Wow. Yeah. This is the thick, the pan crust pizza? Um, I can't recall. I think it was pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the last time you had it, it was butter chicken? It was butter chicken, and there was a barbecue one, and there was like just a regular cheese. Interesting. And a pepperoni, but yeah, I was, I was impressed by Pizza Hut. I didn't even know that that was an option. I'm gonna look that up. Um, Vanessa, check what Amanda said. Tried a bit of Thai food. Oh no. Huh. <laughs> no! I'm sorry you didn't like it. What did you get? Yeah. Do you get pad thai? You gotta get did the panang. Get curry, the chicken <laughs> panang. panang is my jam. She's always about the panang. <laughs> panang <yeah. laughs> thai fighters. <laughs> <laughs> that was seahaw. Yeah. That was seahaw. No, <laughs> yeah. What did you try while you were there, Amanda? Also, guys, mm -hmm. I think the garlic sauce is really good for for the crust. Mm. I agree. Oh no, yeah. I would suggest if you're ever going to pizza nerd, get that that sauce. Because I don't usually, I honestly don't usually do pizza dip. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the past few times that we've done pizza, because you're so adamant about getting the dip, I'm like, you know what? Especially with I think garlic, I kind dip. of get it now. Mm -hmm. You get it now. <laughs> I get it now. Because before I used to be like, I don't understand why everyone like goes crazy about getting garlic dip for their pizza. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was weird. It's more for the crust than anyway. yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it's good with the rest of the pizza, but like with the crust especially, mm -hmm. it's just like it seems boring without the dip now. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. we got our Arlington. Arlington so this is Joe Hare. All these pieces are I know. Who's gonna go first all? I took a small one. I'll take this one right here. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So there's that shape. How's it going, Jimmy? Jimmy! We got Pizza hey, Nerds today, and they're located out of uh, City Goose on Bank gonna, Street. We'll do a close-up for you. Bank and Flora is Bank the closest Flora. intersection. Exactly, yeah. Um, and Amanda says, I don't know what it was called. I wanted noodles and the noodles out of them. Oh, my God. That's uh, unfortunate. <clears throat> so we're just going to do, Jimmy, we're just going to do a quick flyby of, like, what what our pizzas look like because um, you haven't been on. So just, like, your. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, they look really sad now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this was the, what was the, the arugula? Uh, com, uh, yes. Calabres. Spicy Calabres. Sausage. Yeah. Spicy sausage. And then we this have. This was called the bank. So this was. Oh, you got oh, it. Sorry. Portobello mushrooms, a white sauce, truffle oil, and parmesan on top. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then I have the Arlington, which is a, a Halifax Donaire pizza. pizza. So uh, Jimmy just mentioned that they, they look like New York City. Oh, like the, yeah. the one that you'd like yeah. hold while you So yeah. this is the jalapeno popper. It's got some jalapenos, mm -hmm. some goat cheese, and some panko. Uh, Red crumbs. crumbs. Yeah. Red crumbs. And you're, yeah, and you're Red ready, crumbs and wearing your shirt. So yeah. That's yeah, right. And then we're poppers, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's all perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I could see how it looks like a New York style pizza. I do too, yeah. I didn't think about like that, but yes. Yeah. Cheers, right. friends. All right, Cheers, everybody. Guys. All right. Yeah. <laughs> how far? He's, out. He's close in the house here. Much sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Actually, the sauce. Mm. Is this real? The, uh, how the about Vanier Vanier? sauce, for some reason, reminds me of like something on like on a cake. Yeah. Really? That's sweet? No, no, because it, it feels like it's so sweet. Mm. That's fine. Well, it's sweeter than what I would imagine on a mm -hmm. sandwich or a donair. Mm. No, it's usually pretty sweet. Yeah. Is the Halifax donair normally sweet oh, like yeah. that? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm. That's probably what, I mean, I'm not hating on donair. <laughs> I'm, I just don't like Damn the sweetness. I'm a more mm -hmm. savory guy. But, yeah. Um, Oil. Doesn't mean I haven't had a donair, but it's actually delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I still like this one. It's still yeah. good. Yeah, it's still good. I, I wouldn't say no to it. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it tastes like a proper donut. No... Really? Yeah. yeah, the meat preparation is actually pretty good. Yeah, like, I would think it seems pretty authentic. The sauce is really good, too. Yeah. At least when they prepared it. Maybe it's because the where I've had a donut was just from like a pizza shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Like the sauce that they use for it, it's more of a liquid mm -hmm. and something thick like this. Mm. And I think it's very basic in general that the sauce they use. It's not like an official donair sauce, but it's like, yeah, let's just call it a donair sauce, you know. Or We have a new new person here. So Brian Mala. How's it going, Brian? No, he we says, haven't. Y'all have tried score pizza. I've never heard of score pizza before. Oh, we passed it. Yeah, it's not far. Oh. Yeah, score, pizza. score pizza, it's the same one that's on Rito Street, right? I've had it. If it's it's the same one. How'd you like I it? I think there's a. I like it. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a chain. Yeah, yeah it's I think a chain. There's one in um Canada as well. One yeah. in Canada. But I haven't tried any of them. I like them. Because they, they make the pizza fairly quickly. Like you probably wait like five minutes max. Yeah. But and there's just, all of these pizzas are quite different, right? So like. Bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. on bank. Yeah, it's the one we passed. Yeah. So like um you know how this kind of compares with. I think this is closest to pie squared yeah. that we've had before. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the scores one similar to another type of pizza? I think it's like similar to any kind of like what what oven style pizza. Okay. Yeah, because like, like or something. Um, I've never had, mm. but it could probably be this similar to it because you just go there, you order, just pretty much you could ask for more meat on your pizza if you wanted to, like mm -hmm. extra toppings, and then they just throw oh. it in. And once they You're throw it in, me, just like immediately, you just wait a bit, mm -hmm. pizza comes out. And they also have um, like um, you could drizzle a little bit of honey on top of it too. That's what I like mm. about score pizza. What? Yeah. Is it like a, a spicy honey? I think it's just a basic honey. Okay. Mm. Spicy honey. I think that was on Heartbreakers Pizza. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Heartbreakers Pizza is probably like my one of my favorite pizzas. Uh, yeah, that one was really good. Yeah. Oh, this pizza is really good. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I feel like so far I've peeped the they haven't really gone wrong. Yeah. No. Mm. But then has anybody been to a bad pizza place anymore? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where? Now you're gonna I don't wanna say thing. names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna say names. I would have edited it out, Brian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> edit it out. Yeah, I edited yeah. out a lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> it's practically. Um, good. I call mm -hmm. like, This pizza in general. I mean, no. I've, been, I've, been well, to, I've been to one where it's like literally, it just tastes like it's like, like straight up like marinara sauce from a Yeah, I haven't been to Pico. Pico, they have one on Elgin. Mm. But it was super cheap, so it was like. Oh, you paid for yeah. it? What yeah, exactly. Said, it was literally yeah. like. I think it's by the so um the half of this pie, I guess. Mm. Pure. Pure kitchen. Uh oh. oh. Okay, pure kitchen yeah. has pizza? Yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, it's pie code. There's one by Pure pie Kitchen code, on yeah. Elgin. Well. Now, when Brian says uh it's minus the soggy, greasy, and sloppy, <laughs> I would assist <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not too sure if I want to try Pico anymore. <laughs> Instead I'll go to scores. Mm -hmm. Honey on pizza, I agree. Who said, honey, who said honey on pizza? Yeah, Amanda said honey on pizza. Hmm. Yeah. Um, well, we've had honey on pizza with the the where did we get we, we heartbreak? Two it different places. We had it at Stay Gold. Yeah, Stay Gold yeah. and Heartbreak. Which was the bee sting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they both were kind of the same concept in mm -hmm. it was like Pepperoni? But yeah. Heartbreakers was pepperoni the spicy one though, right? With like spicy honey. They yeah, both yeah. did spicy oh, they honey. And then did Heartbreakers did. had the jalapeno also on it. Hmm. Yeah. But then honey on pizza, it's like a it's a very thin drizzle. It's not like, yeah, I'm yeah, just gonna take a, a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm just like, there you go. Yeah. So it's, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Where it's just a yeah, sweet where, pizza. No, no. It's like a very thin drizzle. They probably have like one of those little squeeze bottles, you know that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They don't have the magic little bee wand. Oh, yeah, I would have thought it's a wand yeah, yeah. just like coated over <laughs> whatever. Cup. What is that thing called? A I glazing thing or something? A glazing. <laughs> a glazing. Glaze stick. If someone knows out there, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> glaze stick doesn't sound, doesn't sound right. <laughs> glaze stick. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, anyways. What's the worst place you've had pizza, guys? Yeah, yeah. I really like this crust. I, right? Especially with the... the Mm -hmm. Garlic sauce. Yeah. I never liked the pizza we used to get on, um for pizza day at school. No. I didn't like but you that. don't know where you go, they got them from. Yes, I do. Where? Milano's. No. Milano's. Really? No, we got good pizza for pizza day. I'm bad. sorry, everyone who likes Milano's. <laughs> it's not really my favorite. I'm sure it's probably good now, but I don't. You know what's weird about Milano's? Each Milano's doesn't cook the same way. They don't because I actually tried Milano's recently and I didn't hate that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, for me personally, I think I mentioned this in one of the other lives. I don't really like um, pizza that has a lot of cheese on it. Like, I don't like that thick layer yeah. of cheese. Mm -hmm. And I remember, like, for pizza day, it used to be. Yeah. Just like a but some thick, people love that, though. I know. It's not, it's not for me. And those are the people that love those pole things. Oh, oh the, the cheese pulls. The cheese pulls. What's oh. a cheese pull? Like when you just have like really stringy cheese. Yeah. Oh. It's very Instagrammable. Yeah. <laughs> like the, like the K dogs. Yeah, K dogs and stuff. Have you tried one? No. no. Okay. I don't want this one. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the vegetarian. Oh yeah. Okay. If you say so, Go then ahead. I'll try it. I think this one. This one looks fancy actually. I almost want to grab that one because there's so much jalapeno. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll grab that one. Have you guys been watching anything fantastic? Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? I still need to watch. Okay, wait. Before you tell me, yeah. what was the show that I think Jimmy that you keep talking about, like Black Cabin or something? What no. is it called? Black. How dare you? No. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Film noir. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know what it was called. No, it was just I said Black show. Mirror. No. That's no. real. No, that's not what has Black, black in it. That, Jimmy, black. what was it? It's about like zombies or something. Some what? Oh, yeah. The zombies that were. Some, some pizza. pizza. Okay. Some pizza pizza locations keep the ready made pizzas out too long where the the bread isn't like uh, cardboard. Oh, cardboard. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Black it's summer. disgusting. 
That's Black, what it is. Black, Black Summer. Summer. I got to write it down right now. Yeah. Where's this on? Right? Netflix? Yeah, it's on yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, there's days when Pizza Pizza is okay, and then there's days where it's just really bad. Yeah. I think you just always right. have to get it freshly I'm, made. I'm diving mm-hmm. into the... Oh, okay. Oh, are we going Cheers. right away? I don't know. You guys... Or are we, are we, are we? <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, okay. I can do both. Okay. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to Black Summer. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers to Black. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. And Amanda said that at least there's options. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is this feta cheese? I think it's no, cheese. Cheese. I'll go. I like this. All right. That spiciness is really nice. Uh-huh. You didn't get any? Okay. Yeah. Brian says that Pico uses a firewood brick oven, but it doesn't even matter because the dough is thin as cardboard. Brian, I love how you describe how bad Pico is. So what you're saying is we should go. No, I'm just <laughs> oh my god, it's hurting me. I'd be like, damn. Never Pico. try Pico then. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Have you I want. No, mm-hmm. I, I no, want to try it though. <laughs> oh I want to see for real if it's that really that it bad. Spicy. Yeah, I like it though. That's like that panko crust. There's marinara sauce. Yeah. Is this supposed to be for it? This is yeah. for Yeah, this came I with it. The... I just poured it on top. I don't know. Oh. Sure. How did it taste? Not bad? Not bad. Not just... that much different though, right? No, it just gave it a little. Cause it... You know what it is? It's pie. probably the under, you know, that sauce it's that they put underneath it. Yeah. And I then agree. just putting on top. Pizza. I'll put a little on top. <laughs> Interesting. I was going to say... um that Strill's gonna find this funny. Why? I was at a, um, a get together the other day, mm-hmm. and it, all they could talk about was Expanse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, show. Yeah, the show. Yeah, the great show. Everybody was talking about. It. They're like, "Have you seen Expanse? It's so good. You should yeah. read the book too because it's so good." <laughs> it is a good show, though. But don't you need like I almost felt like didn't you need to know about the source before you could watch? No, no, no. It no? explains everything in the first episode. Does it? Yeah, it's pretty. I've watched some of it. I just didn't. I, I heard so much about the book that I yes. was like, oh, I know what's kind of happening. Well, it's not yeah. a continuation. It's just like from the book. Yes. Yeah. The man now. I think I would need to try this like fresh out of the. Mm. Fresh out of the oven. As soon as it's done. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Same. The man now almost feels like just a tomato. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tomato size. I wouldn't put the marinara on. I don't even think it's marinara. I think it's just tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Is Expanse? It's on Sci Fi, right? No, it's on, uh, it's on yeah. Amazon Prime. But it's, it's Amazon on Prime? Prime. Yeah. That's where I watch it. So Amazon Prime, Amanda. Amazon Prime, yes. Sorry. But Black Summer is on Netflix. Yeah, Black Summer is Netflix. Is it on Netflix? I have to say, no. though, I'm impressed that the panko stayed crispy. Mm. Yeah. Back I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best now. I know which one. Mm. I know. I this one too though, because the saltiness the of the cheese. Oh, it's so and good. And the spice. Yeah. And everything nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Powerpuff Girls. They're making a show. Real live action. One. No. Yeah, they yeah. Are. They've already oh, no. started. starting. Uh Didn't they have three, to reshoot it though? Yeah, they have to reshoot it now because it was done terribly, I guess. That bad? Yeah, so I think the premise is that they're, uh, mm. they've are they gone through, like, childhood, and now they're, like, teens, mm-hmm. and so it's live action, and, yeah, they're just, they basically have already done their superhero stuff, Oh, and they're kind of just... They just want to be... Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm only on the second season, Strill. So, Strill says, laugh on out, the fifth. I was trying to stream the fifth season, but, they will, but it wouldn't stream on my TV, so I'm <laughs> going to watch it. When I get home. All right. Oh my God, Brian. Did Brian like rip them apart? Well, he's like, when I Google review places and the food is popping, I'll use a filter to give it more oomph. Otherwise, if it's crab, I'll take it. I'll take it untouched with flash so it ends up looking like my blue mother snapped it. <laughs> OMG. Why you guys do your mom like that? <laughs> Keep them jokes coming, Brian. Brian, you're hilarious. <laughs> The genre of expanse that's the name of the show oh it's a uh, sci-fi, sci-fi. Mm. it's so a space like... political space yeah um yeah. drama yeah there you go that's probably the best way to explain I it, watched it at the and it's like if we went 
What? <laughs> I was gonna say it's like we went to it's like we went well, it's to almost space. like looking at like society now. You know how mm -hmm. so it's like you others over there, you stay where you are. Mm -hmm. We'll take advantage of you. We'll take all your resources. Yeah. While the higher ups in space, like Mars and whatnot, mm -hmm. they're the army. They're the power. Mm -hmm. You know. In some ways, it reminds me of the Gundam cartoon that I was watching. Well, they have it on Netflix now. Yeah, the first Gundam? movie and the second movie. Gundam, yeah. Oh, oh really? Mm -hmm. No, they have the whole trilogy there, oh. and then the the extra movies on top of it. Mm -hmm. But the whole premise is like, there's warring factions in in space, and um, they say like, they have this mystical thing where, they said, oh, on Earth you only use like half your brain, and then on because people are being born into space, right. they're getting more like this precognition kind of uh skill or whatever mm -hmm. so there's these things called the new types where they're they have like precognition for like how to use electronics and stuff like that so they're like even better pilots than mm. uh earthborn huh. pilots so it's it's an interesting one but it, like it's not for everyone it's quite long <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like a two and a half hour movie. yeah the two and three two and a half hour movies so you have to be really into it if yeah. you're like it's not like uh it's, it's like an early series too i think it was like 1981. yeah 1981. really yeah. yeah i didn't realize it was that early in the 80s yeah mm -hmm. and for anyone from water mm. oh please. yeah please please how does this thing work yeah yeah that's how water! i get things out water yeah. what are we uh early yeah have you watched any movies lately oh what? freaky that freaky's good i mm. like freaky that was fun yeah so it's basically a, there's this uh, uh you want it no 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 okay. is that the one with vince vaughn yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah, so there's yeah. this teenager that's trying to like no oh, she just lives her regular life and she's yes. kind of like lives her life for her mother yeah. who's just recently lost her husband and I'm basically and basically uh there's this murderer in town and he finds this relic and he hits he hits her with it and they switched bodies. Mm. So now he's he's possessed her body. Like, it was like Freaky like, Friday. Yeah, it's, pretty much. It is. It is. Freaky Friday. You know what it reminded horror. me of? Oh. The hot chick. But a horror? Remember yeah. the horror? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? It's not the same person, with, though. No, it's with Rob Schneider. He was oh, like, yeah, yeah, criminal. yeah, yeah. It's almost exactly like that. Uh, one. Also, Brian said, I'd actually hella enjoy a let's watch type of series with you four. Oh. Um, Brian, I just want to say that I appreciate your use of hella. I've been trying to not say it as much. <laughs> I don't say it in the videos, but in my everyday life, I, I say it more than I should. <laughs> she said <laughs> well, she has a lot. watch series episode. Yeah, we should time. do that. But <laughs> she has a whole different vocabulary outside of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's called the bonnets. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, shit. I mean, I kicked. Oh, shoot. I'm joking. So, yeah, watch your language. Man. Yeah, watch your language, man. <laughs> what did I say? Oh. <laughs> I'm confused now. Did I do something? <laughs> you freaky is it. good. Okay. Yeah, freaky is right. definitely re recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I always so believe it's a term. I use baristas. Oh, oh okay. wait, what is hella? Hella, oh. we're we're slowly analyzing what you <laughs> you're doing. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, maybe one day we could do that. I think a horror would be really good. <laughs> we'd be like, ah, no, I'm I not like that horrors. Anymore. I do like. I, I'm. Good. I appreciate horror movies now. Yeah, it's hard to find a good one. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why I was surprised with Freaky. It was, was like, yeah. it wasn't horror, but it was more like a it was thriller. Like a comedy thriller. Mm. Yeah. That's the thing about horror oh. movies, though. Like today, I don't think they're like full on horror movies anymore. They're like comedies. <gasps> yeah. I did. I, well, yeah, I, I watched that movie Which because one? of you, Brian. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I love that movie. Hall. I was like, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It was yeah, really good. good. Oh, I uh, love that movie. Yeah. I went deep into like I watched half of it. Started and I started Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, Charles Manson, let's go, let's go. And then it started. Oh, like, because some of it's based off real life. Well, because it was that's it was all con it was all around the same time, right? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. like intertwined. He intertwined <clears throat> that story mm -hmm. into with Bruce yeah. Lee and yeah, all that. Uh, yeah, he just I was like, damn, because mm -hmm. I didn't understand. I was like, wait, why are there people in this? Ranch? I think you should watch it. Which one? Once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? what? 
it's it's Dude, uh yeah. in the beginning you're like what what is this movie yeah mm-hmm. and then like once you hit the middle of it you're like oh i'm invested mm-hmm. and then the end you're like what the, heck the is payoff going on? is mm-hmm. the payoff yeah. is like <laughs> gross yeah gross, but yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is Crave only Canadian, or do they have that in the states? Now? I know she's not in the states, but I wish I could not <laughs> caught your reactions with the final act. Yeah, the, the final act is so crazy. Mine was. <laughs> I only watched half of it. Yeah, really? Yeah, you didn't finish it. I fell asleep. What? Oh my You're god! You gotta go finish it. I fell asleep because I'm just tired. Don't so spoil, it, please. Okay. okay, we won't yeah. spoil it. But uh, my. My expressions at the end, final act was like, yeah, oh my it, God. it just gets more and more ridiculous. And you're just kind of like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 And then you're like, no. Yeah. So I would, I would recommend it just to, just to get to the end. So I would yeah. really recommend it to you finish that movie. Maybe I'll watch it today. The payoff is so I good, know. man. The payoff, the yeah. last act is. Yeah. yeah, I'm wrestling. You can't go wrong with Tarantino. You know, like... <laughs> Tarantino like, oh, kind of comes. has a. Uh, I still like. I love. I love. Is it quite taste? Sometimes. Yeah. Some of this stuff. Yes, I was trying to stay up when I couldn't. I was out on Bank Street all day, and then I just fucking knocked down. You know, it's hot too. Is that like, why you had the Bank Street time. pizza? Yeah. No, because he's still. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, yeah. He was tired. He all loves day. Bank Street. Yeah. yeah. You, you work on Bank Street, so you got Bank Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, in a good way, Amanda. It was a good. And yes. Wait, Amanda, how violent do you want your movies? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, it's a Tarantino yeah. movie. Yeah, Tarantino. Yeah, Tarantino he he doesn't come yeah. back. He, yeah. just, he just lets loose. Have you guys watched? I agree, oh. Brian. Um, Tarantino payoffs are always incredible. Yeah. That's right, mm-hmm. Brian. You know, you know what's up. Yep. Sorry, what are you going to say? I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. It has, no, because you guys talked about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Charles Manson. Mm-hmm. There was a documentary series on Netflix called the son of Sam. Yes. Okay. yes. About that uh, that murderer or the the cult of um, devil worshippers. That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, that was because it all it even tied into Charles Manson too. Yes, it did. Okay. So they all thought one guy did it, but there was this investigative report who spent his life just trying to prove that he's like, no, I have the evidence in front of you. Mm-hmm. It's a group of people, kill, like committing all these murders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then the cops, since they solved it already, they're like, no, yeah, it's okay. it's done. Yeah. It's like, what are you talking about? It's one guy. He said it was one guy. But then the more questions he asked, the guy admitted he's like, no, it's like a team of people. Yeah. And it's like it spans other places mm-hmm. as well and all that stuff. But uh, yeah. Brian just mentioned uh, he just released the novel and I'm like one quarter of the way through already. I didn't know. He oh, the reporter. A... Yeah. Yeah. Because he he he, he, I was gonna he, ask. he released a book um, Is... around that time. It was uh, I forgot what it's called, but it had a picture of a wolf on it. Oh, mm-hmm. I yeah. was wondering if it was the same guy that did the chaos one because uh, it's it's uh, also about Charles Manson, and I was wondering if he was the same guy doing the other cult one too. Possibly. Yeah. I, I think know. it was. It was I, I forget his name. It's something Murray, I, I believe. Uh, Can I have some water, please? Oh yes. That's why. Oh, I was sorry. Laughing, just Did I not know? Yeah. Not, I poured in and I never handed it out. <laughs> oh. Apologies. Oh, hey, you have your I have a glass. Wait. Oh, what? Oh. I would like glass. to. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here. Good job. Why? Thank you. Did you just drink it out of the container? No. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Careful. No, because the devil cult started in England, actually. And have, then it came to America. And then everybody followed it. Have you guys seen the movie Zodiac? That was But really I don't good. really remember much yeah. of it. That was a good old movie. Rock too, yeah. I think it was. There's, there's two on Netflix. There's that movie, the, actual, the one with Robert, yeah, with Robert Downey Jr. Yep. Is the one, mm-hmm. And then there's an actual, like, a dock of bubbles, that kind of. Oh, thing. I didn't know. Like one, you can one's like the because it is based. Oh, on like a series. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based on both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's uh yeah, that would be really interesting to watch. Sick. What? Trust me, I've watched too <laughs> many of these serious. things. Like yeah, I'm like. Yeah, he loves those kind of things. Uh, I'm like, those I want to be happy. They freak me out though. No, Some of them. There was one about the guy. Yeah, yeah. It's like night soccer. That that one. That one. No, that one. I was messed up. Yeah, I know. Even after the first episode, I was watching that night. I'm like, ah, this is. That like, one tied into Cecil Hotel too. Yeah, That's yeah. Why I was like, Stalker. so Night Stalker um, it was a serial it's, killer. It's about a serial killer, but like, like uh, he was ruthless though because he would look his victims in the eye. Yeah, before he, he would like, kill them. Like next level, like super yeah. demonic creep, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like he's just That's the stuff true. you you just have to watch it. I'm playing. It's mm-hmm. like I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Have you guys seen Death Proof? 
Yeah, Ooh, so yeah, Death that Proof. Yeah, that came out recently, no? No, no. I haven't seen it. Death Proof is like the Tarantino movie that's. Sorry, yeah, Robert. Maybe I think of some, who's, who's some other movie. Pat, Rodriguez. Pat, yeah, the uh, Pan's Robert Labyrinth. Rodriguez. Yes. No, that's not Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth is uh, that, that other guy. Benicio Del Toro? No, that's an actor. No, 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 no. But I think it was I know Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Did, uh, they did mm-hmm. Death Proof and. Yeah, that's and Bullet, movie, yeah. No, yeah. Death Proof and. And there was another movie yeah. that they did. Isn't that Bulletproof? No, I no, it was Death yeah. Proof. There was like two beast, beast style movies. Yes. I forgot which one was the one where. Lost my oh. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> no, uh, Death Proof was good. What though. is Little Wayne? <laughs> what is Little Wayne? <laughs> What's Little Wayne? No, it's not. Um, <clears throat> so, out of all of these, which one do you prefer? Uh, wow, thanks for asking. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one is really? my top choice. This one is my second. You know what? It's in order of how I feel about it. Really? This. Yeah. What about you, Sarah? His is this one. I like that one. <laughs> I actually like the saltiness of this one. Yeah. Like it's I a do. nice flavor of that. So it'd be one, two, and then three and four. Just because of the sweetness of the donair sauce, yeah. I'm not used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. What about you? Oh, oh it feels like so okay. It feels very dope. So croissant. I would take the calabres. Yeah, oh, you like that one first? Yeah, yeah. Great. I'm. It's because I'm simplistic. Like I just want, like it's just two things, but it, <laughs> but it tastes delicious. And then I think I would go with Sejas. Yeah. With uh, as much as I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like a white pizza, but it's, yeah, it's yeah, super delicious. Um. Sorry, East Coast. I love you, but I might go with this one. You realize you're going back to the East I know, Coast. I know, just don't hate on me. They're not going to find him and be <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to break your knees. <laughs> Look for that one Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really from there, but yeah. I'm <laughs> really, really from there. Get him with salsa. I agree with Seha. Yeah. I'm just not, He's I go love, away. I, I'm not someone that likes uh, dessert. I'm I don't not a big cake How's guy. So, yeah. so like if you're the, adding the sweetness like, whatsoever yeah. to a pizza, I'm like, like, no. That's why I'm like, why pineapple? No. So <laughs> <laughs> why you I don't know. Why pineapple? No. no. <laughs> sorry, keep going. Keep going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No pineapple, but that so yeah, that's the only reason I have no doubt that if whoever loves a donair would enjoy this. It tastes pretty much identical to what it is. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the it's usually sweet, pretty thick. Mm-hmm. Later, Brian. Later, Bye. Brian. Thanks for for uh, for telling us about the the what is it called? Scores. Tune in next scores. Tune in next Black, week. Black Star Mart. Don't try Black Star. No, yeah. he's telling us about Scores Pizza. Oh, oh Scores <laughs> <Scorch. Scorch. laughs> Pizza. No Pico. No Pico. Watch Death Proof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's your turn. You didn't oh yeah, yeah. It. For me, I would say. Uh, Man is doing a shake hand. Oh yeah, bye. bye. Okay. I actually like say is the best. Um, oh wow, wow, that was, wow! It was that. It was, was it coming? Up? I know. I so every every so often I get surprised by how how non meat uh, foods. What are you doing? There was something. Oh. Every so often I'll I'll be surprised by a vegan or vegetarian thing, and that's definitely one of them. Yeah, I would say. It's a toss-up between these two for the second one. Likes. Yeah. I, I wish this one was a little warmer. That's it. And I think <laughs> we would, salt if you yeah. excuse me. And I think it would have tasted ten times better. Although that one, same same thing. Yeah. That was like yeah, warmer. That would be really good too. So it's a toss-up between these ones and then sorry, Halifax. <laughs> I would say I would go uh this one last, but it's not to say that it is a bad bad pizza or anything. No. It's just it's an acquired taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it really is. It, like I feel like if you're from the East Coast, like you just love Donair. Yeah, yeah, if you love it, like it so. you see, yeah. that's probably what you really want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but Pinto mm-hmm. County pizza, delish. Pinto County. Pinto. Pinto, Pinto County. Pinto it's like County. it's like a uh, Nova Scotia pizza. Oh. It's, uh, it's got a savior like spicy sauce. Savory. Ooh. Yeah, savory. Savor. So that's where we would Savior. have to go if we're in, in uh, Nova Scotia then. Yeah, so it's only in one little section up in the north. Yeah. And they have yeah. Their own. If you even look them up on the internet, like yeah. if you go to international 20 minute drop off, it's just like slowly from the Wisconsin. What? Yeah. Was so like for Canada, like uh, Pinto Seagulls County. are just trying to attack it. 
This guy says Pictou County is uh, one of the top pizza places in Canada. Well, it says like, so you, you go to like international pizzas in Canada or so whatever in the province, and I think Canada it has Pictou County. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah Interesting. Good. good to know. Yeah, it's good. Jeez. Like, how far do you have to drive to get it? Uh, it depends what, from Halifax. Yeah, like from where yeah, you live. Halifax. Halifax. Oh, for me, uh, it's about thirty minutes. Oh, that's not. Yeah, oh, that's nothing, man. Yeah. That's nothing. I go there. So, recommendation for me. These guys probably recommend it as well. So check out um, Pizza Nerds. It is on Bank Street, where the City Goose is. Yeah, located yeah. in City Goose, City Goose and Flora. And they got magical boxes. Yeah. Oh yeah. We forgot to mention this. So these are eco-friendly boxes, so you could actually use the top of the box as, as plates. Plate. So you break them off, <laughs> like Roots and D'Angelo. Yeah, yeah, you break them off. They come in slices of four. Isn't that isn't that clever? Yeah, they even have the instructions here on the side. Yeah, they tell you how to use it. Here, I'm going to gonna show you guys. The... It's so unique. Where is this thing? So unique. Look, it's made in USA though. Boo. Boo. Why are you saying boo? It just drills from there. Hello. So here's the instructions for. It's girl from Texas. It's drills from Texas, yeah. yeah. So this is the instructions for how to make that into a plate. Ooh. Have some fika next time. You're damn right. Oh! <laughs> I was thinking about like what is fika? trying to find. Oh, you don't know what fika is? No, what is fika? Yeah, like a Swedish bakery? Yeah. If we can find, <coughs> why am I looking at my phone? So, and Amanda, I'm if we were to try fika here, what things should we get to a fika? Yeah. What so, items should we buy? Fika is basically. We're hoping like we can find a bakery yeah. here. Yeah, oh, okay. But it's like for sweets. It's like it's like a little break time to have like sweets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, make goods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was asking if we were to choose baked goods, like if we found a bakery. Yeah. Um, what would you recommend? Mm -hmm. We are constantly looking out for Swedish food everywhere. Yeah, been... we are having a big hard time finding. Yeah, without going to IKEA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you all about the cheese? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon rolls and cookies, right up my alley. So, <laughs> Strills like. You know, his feelings aren't hurt. He's an honorary Colombian now. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Cinnamon rolls, of course. Uh, cookies, etc. Cinnamon rolls are fikas? Well, fika is it's it's the kind of meal it is, right? It's not like it's a, a name. A to, uh, it's a way of yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, it's a way of life. So, well, we could find cinnamon rolls. Oh, for sure. We, yeah. You know what? I'll find the best cinnamon rolls in Ottawa. We'll find the best cookies, find the best cinnamon rolls, yeah. get a good coffee. We'll show you some good fika here in Ottawa. Yeah, we'll we'll create a fika. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's about it. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Amanda, Strill, Brian, Jimmy. Am I forgetting anyone? Everyone else up there? There was Farood. For, 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 for the oh, yeah. Farood. Farood. Farug? Farug? No, it wasn't. It was Farugo. Isn't it? Can't you scroll up? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you scroll up? Yes. Yes. That's a good. Fro Hugo. Fro Hugo. Fro Hugo. That's right. Thank you all for joining in and everybody else that's online as well. So that's it for us. Pizza's life. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Pizza's Thanks, life. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you guys next week. Ciao for now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just this guy. <laughs>